Hi, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I would use the FXCG50 calculator from Casio to help check the answers to solving simultaneous equations both linear and non-linear mixed from the Corbett Maths booklet. This is a way of checking answers, it's not, it does not secure all of the method marks for you. So previously, in my previous video on simultaneous equations, if I turn the calculator on, we were in, press exit just to keep going back, we were in the equation option. So on menu, that was five for equation, which is fantastic. So if I go into there, if I select simultaneous equations here, two, three, four, five, or six unknowns, two unknowns usually what we do predominantly at GCSE, it has X plus Y is our number. These are always linear equations. So it makes it a little bit more complicated for simultaneous equations that are linear and non-linear. We can't use this option to do that. The way I do it, there may be others. The way I do it is I go back into the run matrix. I go back into this main one here and I use the solve n. So the sequence for that in previous videos I've shown you is option, calculate, solve to find a number. So option, calc, solve to find a number. Now with this, we need an equation, a single equation involving one variable. So how do we do that? First question, I've got my equation for a circle or my non-linear and my linear. Standard approach for this would be not to use elimination because they're not both linear, but to use the technique of substitution. Substitution is where we would rearrange one and substitute into the other. So for this one, I would say that x is 6 subtract y, and then I would substitute 6 subtract y in for x to give me 6 subtract y squared plus y squared equals 20. Now I have a single equation involving one unknown. I can put that in for solve n. If I expanded it and put it in descending um, powers of x, for equals zero, just like the quadratic formula, then I could use the equations solving option. However, this one is far more flexible. So I go back through the sequence of numbers again, or the sequence of buttons option, calculate, solve to find a number. That's the sequence every time, and I enter it as it is. It does not matter that it is the variable y when I'm entering in for x. All I need is a single variable I'm trying to solve. I need to open up a new set of brackets. This is where they're read. 6 subtract x, close bracket squared, plus x squared, shift equals 20, and then close bracket. Execute for that. Exit, because I'm not interested in potential complex solutions or anything like that. And it tells me that my two values for y are both 2 and 4. And then when you have your two values for y, you have that y could be 2, y could be 4. So I would have here as my two answers there, and we substitute those y values back into here to find the corresponding values of x. So if x equals 6 take away y, I could use my solve n here again, and x equals 6 subtract 2, close bracket, Exit, that gives me the answer of 4. So when y is 2, x is 4. And I can even go back in and just replace that one with the value 4. And so when y is 4, x is 2. So there are my two sets of solutions. So if you have one equation linear and one non-linear, or even both non-linear, whatever, however you're doing it, with solving um, if simultaneous equations using substitution, I use the solve n facility. Very much the same here. Now this isn't a circle equation. It's already given me my one equation in the form of x equals, excuse me while I just refocus the camera. If x equals y subtract two, I'm gonna substitute that in here. y subtract two multiplied by y equals 24, and then that's what I enter in here, solve n bracket y subtract 2, y equals 24. Oh, I almost put an extra bracket in there, but as it's blue, I can see that that was its partner, negative 4 and 6. So my two y values there are negative 4 and 6, 
and as previously, I would substitute those back in to get the corresponding x values. As you can see, this doesn't secure all of the method marks in between. It just helps you check your answers and give you confidence as you go. So looking at the other equations, that's very similar. This one as well. So it's just trying to see where we might get something slightly different. Um, they're all still substitutions. This one here, if we wanted to, we could say that x equals 3 subtract 2y. And then if I substitute that in here, I'd have to substitute it in for both x's. So I have 3 subtract 2y squared, add 3, 3 subtract 2y, y equals 10. I mean, you could argue that I'm substituting in for x instead of y. Um, I just didn't want to have to divide by 2 and use decimals or fractions in doing it. I preferred to use um, integer values, but that's that's personal preference there. Mathematically, it would end up being the same thing. But just to show you again, your solve n would simply be open bracket 3 subtract 2 um, y. Be careful because I'm using x here and that's y squared plus 3 bracket 3 subtract 2 y close bracket y again shift equals 10 close bracket make sure that i open and close with my blue brackets all done exit my answers are negative one and negative a half as my first solution so those are my two y values to substitute in and then find the corresponding x values there we go underneath here it says give my answers to one decimal place so let's look at what that might look like on the calculator 5x subtract 3y is 21, so I'm going to say that 5x is 3y plus 21, x is 3 fifths y plus 21 over 5, or you could say x is 3y plus 21 over 5. You, it's probably easier with a calculator to substitute it in in that form when you're typing it out, rather than moving between um, using the cursor between all the different fractions. Substituting that back in here, 3y plus 21 over 5 squared plus y squared is 45. Here, solve n, I have open bracket, fraction, 3, a variable, plus 21 over 5 squared, add variable squared equals 45, close bracket, Check that my blue brackets exit. And what does it give me? It gives me here my list. Now, if I want to, I can go to it and press execute. So what I did there, okay, is I scrolled up to that. And if I press execute, instead of seeing them in a list, one after the other, it gives it to me in a table form. We've seen this before with the simultaneous equation solver. In this table here, it's got a shortened version. Be careful because it hasn't been rounded, it's just been truncated. 